Az őt Bengals. I feel like Hindustanians are too strong. <laughs> like it's like the same as when Cumans first were released. The lances and everything just felt so broken. I kind of didn't want to play them. Hindustanians feel so good right now. Obviously, I don't have the most uh, games with them yet, but I just feel okay with your performance in A4. Yeah, very happy about it. Danny boy. Oh god. Yeah, now I wanna win. Now I actually wanna win. Until now it's all been training and fun, but now it's Danny boy. Now we're now we're not messing around anymore. Oh it was Kong forever, yeah true. It was I remember correctly then actually. <laughs> Sounds like a you issue. Sharing an opinion. I cannot type. Still missing two sheepies or goatsies. You're just rated right above Daniel, though. I be careful. Twenty-three ninety-seven, twenty-three ninety-four. Grudge match. Tech tree? Now he's checking my civ. But I'll pretend like he's checking for, for Japanese. Let's push a deer. Why are you so noob? A lot of training, man. Hey. Don't become this noob just overnight. Trust me. Hey. I guess Japanese is probably a save that Rata's are very risky. I mean, in range mode, you probably do okay, but if they get on top of you and it becomes melee mode, <laughs> Samurai will probably clean you up. I'm not sure if Rathas are in a good choice. Against the uh, Japanese. Pushing deer, try hard man. You're jealous. Did I know to push deer? You are a doubt smurf. Elephant. I would like to go elephants. However, I do think it might be a bit difficult. But we'll see what we can do. Um, like, I could play... What could I play? Don't actually know. Now I'll have two extra villagers hitting Feudal. I still don't know if there's like a natural opening for the Civ. Might be stable, but stable against Japanese don't always feel that great. Why not yellow? Hey. 
Oh, water. True, I have ama I'm an amazing water sieve. It wouldn't be too bad. Oh shit. Oh, I misclick. Now, what's up with everyone rushing these days? What happened to being cool? Miss those days. Is that triple uh, drush though? So it's a bit more of an investment than the single drush we had earlier. Careful about Japanese galley though, they have extra line of sight. That's true, that's true. Very scary indeed. Man, I miss those days. How can we make a song out of that? Small segment there. I was trying to drop a range quickly. It's a bit awkward, I'm kind of walling myself off. I don't have access to gold. That's also a bit of a problem, but can't have it all. The gods have the worst. Yeah, I heard that they have like the worst win rate in one one. Which means if I actually beat any boy with it, it would feel even better. to figure out what he's going for. Walling! I keep holding control and clicking uh, a unit because in AV4 that would that would uh, that would make uh, that would select all the units of that unit which was quite nice Obviously, I cannot do that here. So it's a bit awkward. But it's fine. No, not like this. Oh, 
Fight me, bro. The only question I'm asking myself here is how do I transition this into um, elephants? That's the important question that we all have to ask ourselves in times like these. How does this become elephants? No, he has a range now. He just finished the blacksmith, so we have an upgrade advantage there. Just like skirmishes then. I am trapping my army, most likely to its death. But gotta take some risk in life. Oh, the timing. I could sense something was going on. The Danny boy was being a sneaky little guy. Can I justify elephant switch? I mean, he sees this. No? You're probably right. But also, why not? Isn't it? That's not enough units, Mr. Danny Boy. Can't be. They do the upgrades now. How dumb is that on a scale of one to not one? Haha, <laughs> I trapped your scouts inside. That was my plan all along. This is gonna be a disaster. Sent a low HP villager there as well. Oh. 
I'm supposed to take less bonus damage, right? That's power of my sieve. Correct? Probably escape with uh, try to escape with him, but I don't think I'll be in time. This feels like a bad idea. This is letting that guy live. I think I'm going elephant archer. I know it's also stupid. Don't have thumb ring, don't have ballist I mean you have ballistics obviously, but live still taking a lot of damage from pikes albeit it is Japanese pikes but still Just running in. He doesn't have plus two. Ballistics. I can't keep chasing this stuff around all game. Elephants was a bad choice. Whoever wanted me to go elephants, they suck. <laughs> uh. Why no one warned me that elephants suck? Should have known. Immersion, thank you. Only works in team game, maybe. Probably is over. Oh, 
I would say so. It's not looking too great. There was not plus two on his knights, though, actually. I think I will still get my castle up, actually. That's love the faces there. I think my I think my castle goes up. I don't think that's the problem. The question is just, is this one thing to play by him? But if it isn't, then uh, I might actually not be in too bad of a spot. Hmm. That was 56 will standing. Again, if it was one TC by him, it's not impossible. Then... There is a chance. Well, I don't think there's a lot of chance. There is a chance. Rata time. I'm down for some Rata. Why is he not attacking these knights? I was expecting him to come around the corner. Don't make him knights. Left me information. Yeah, I could use Rathas as knights. I could. Looking at the situation, I feel like he's not playing multiple town centers. Okay, yes, yeah, multiple town centers. But I think there may be a deal, like quite fairly late addition. This is gonna be risky. If he has his knight numbers around, then that could backfire immensely. Build. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Certainly losing a couple of ills. By a couple, I mean a lot. Don't forget I can use Rattas and Mela. What am I doing, man? Mm, I think I may have lost too many ills for my own liking there. Let's see how Rathas do. Hmm. 
Town center. He's going full knights. How do we do it? We have only Rathas. Is that a thing? Not sure about this Rata commitment. Make pointy boys. But Bengal is, has B for bad barracks. Don't you remember? I thought I only have one relic. I thought I would brought more in. I think it's eco is just maybe I have to make pointy boys. Maybe you're right, considering how many knights he actually is committing on. Not like this. Oh no. Oh no. Suffering a bit for... Yeah, that castle will never go up. Now that he's aware of it. They have a somewhat healthy population, but... Doesn't feel that great. Right now. A lot of it is idle. He is pretty much untouched at the moment. up there will be nice why did it disappear ah. these are the games as I said that I will definitely be struggling on for the time being. Mm. Probably cannot deny this. good news from this is that our population is actually increasing village account but bad things remain that it's very likely that he has significant equal lead still and obviously idle time for me is way higher but we'll get to see how the magnificent Ratha is doing That makes sense. He's obviously protecting the gold. Ah, I can't select things. 
That's not for Rathas. Where's my late game comp? Do I still try to go elephants? Feels like it's a bad idea. But then again, what is a good idea right now? You're right. Shit. Forgot about that one. Rattles will probably benefit from that. Well, my villager won't go there. That is no surprise that he's imp. I think I thought that would happen earlier. Um. This is the time where I try to raid him. Not to death per se, but... He has a lot of exposed ecos that could actually pay off in dividends. And whenever his skirms come, BAM! I am cavalry. However, he can now start trebbing down my, my, my stuff as well. Mm. Does have a lot of them though. with that damage output. This is our main concern, that is that all our keeps are in the same location. Really sure transitionally how good Rathas are an imp. <gasps> There's a relic there. Why are they acting like this? I think my army just dies here. Not keeps this AO2. I'm sorry man, it's hard to switch. I don't know what my imp tech is. I guess for now it's just skirms. That obviously doesn't feel like a long-term good solution. Do anything. Guess I try to get some of those siege ram boys. 
as well. Can't really afford to or, or think about like oh unique unit takes ten less population space. Can't afford it, nor do I really have a stable economic situation to or castles for that matter alive. Pull it off at the very moment. Was it 650 to upgrade that? That ain't too bad. Population still looks healthy, but the only reason it look health looks healthy is because I have so much population in uh, in villagers. I don't think it's actually that healthy. But can maybe I have prepared upgrades for that. I think it will take some time before I can. Sort that out. I don't really have siege right now. Perhaps I can try to go for those siege boys. See how they do. Do pikemen have bonus damage against those siege boys? I mean, I have so much gold, I just don't know what to make. Do I just go elephants? Honestly, not sure. to have such a healthy population it still feels so dead yeah we're trying to go oh i don't have that one oh, my relics okay sending everything over to take this castle that buys me some time on the left side for the time being, so maybe I can make enough of these bad boys. They still feel pretty shit against Alps. Looking at that damage output. I'm not even sure how many I need to build up to before my armored elephants are actually a threat like how many do i need before like oh they're gonna take down that castle fast you know at what point do we feel like that do we ever feel like that
five? Is five the magic number? I have five. Well, let's find out. Same as other other ramps. Well, let's find out. My population now got melted. Those samurai cleaned up my whole skirm army. Let's see. You know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. GG. Okay. Never go battle elephants in first thing you do as in Castledge. Is this the one with the... No, this is not the one with bonus damage. So imagine it is the one with the bonus damage. Yeah. So you do 50% more. So you do, that was actually sick. I did not expect it to go down that fast. That was actually really sick. Those siege elephants looking, seem insane then. You pike at bonus against siege elephants? I would imagine so. Because they count, up, count as mounted units. Yeah, because there's still siege elephants. Never go Bengalis. But I mean, okay, imagine this game, right? What's the save bonus again? Bengalis. Whose village spawn? I actually don't even, didn't even notice when that happened. But this game, we were completely fine, right? We got to Castlate, we were completely fine. But then I went elephants. So imagine if I don't go elephants there. I think we're in a pretty good spot then. I don't think Bengalis are that bad. Yeah, we have, a, we have more bills here in this phase. It's just really, like, the only issue I have with this save right now, to put it like that, the fact that this is your only options in the stable thing makes it really awkward to play. Because battle elephants are not an option in Castle Age, I think. At least not as an opener. Like, if you open, let's say you open crossbow, crossbow monks, and then you switch, crossbow monk siege, and then you switch... Once you have 3 TC, 70, 80 villagers, then you drop stables to go elephants. That's probably fine. But yeah, the awkward thing is playing the opening in Castle Age. So obviously you don't really want to go barracks. The only options, you don't have cav arches either. Oof. Elephant arches don't ever feel right. You had a chance in mid game with Rathas as well. I think I was waited too much to have a chance. And Rathas don't, didn't, don't feel like they're too good against knights. So I'm not sure. It's just having a good unit comp. Uh, obviously, I mean, some walling would have helped to secure parts of the map. Oh, we could have walled left side. We could have walled bottom here as well. And, like, secured our gold. Yeah, the most difficult thing with this, it feels like the composition in mid-game. Opening, you can open anything. Scouts, men arms archers, skirm, whatever. Elephants. Yeah, they just feel as, like as an opener unit in Castlage, they just feel like horrible. Elephant arches with fast ballistics. I mean, elephant arches are they're slightly faster now. They're cheaper. Are they viable though? Two thirty HP. I mean, I opened. What if I? One twenty seventy. Ninety seventy. I mean, I was going, I made like six elephants right away hitting Castlage. If those are six elephant archers instead, does that change anything? I'm not sure if it changes anything. Uh, yes, Dennis, I am. What's so bad about their barracks? Oh, all upgrades in Castlage. Uh, not, it's not necessarily bad, it's just you don't really want to go pikes or longer swords in general. Expo score and pike siege. I mean, in this case, it's pike armored elephants. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue with Bengal is composition mid game. Rathas feel nice, but they're also very awkward to play unless you can play it like a snowball push kind of thing. 